M82 causes the subspindle speed to be synchronized with the main spindle speed. This allows the subspindle collet to close on the rotating part since they are rotating in the same direction and at the same speed. To establish the pickoff point of the subspindle, G131 resets the location of the subspindle program 0 in Z. It works differently than the G120 code, however. It reads the position of the z-axis from head 1, called z-a, at this moment. Now, to determine what the z-a axis is at this time, look at the head 1 program. Here, you see the part of the head 1 program where the cutoff tool, tool 100, is being made active. This means all the features are completed on the head 1 side. In the next block, you see that the z-axis is at 82 millimeters. That means the part is sticking out of the bushing 82 millimeters after all the features are machined. In the head 2 program, the subspindle moves forward to Z62. The subspindle collet then closes with the M10 command. Since 82 minus 62 is 20, the control can calculate the starting point value. Since the width of the cutoff tool is 2 millimeters and it is also stored in the control, the control knows how much will be removed from the length of the part by the cutoff process. When G131 is executed by the control, it performs these calculations and moves the subspindle grid so the end of the part is at 18 millimeters. This establishes the location of Z0 for the subspindle at 18 millimeters.